another Agatha Christie mystery. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I have this really, really good mystery book, Dumb Witness, by Agatha Christie, the Queen of Mystery herself. And well, let's get right on to it. Emily Arundel. She is a quite rich woman, and she has several very greedy nephews. And she had a little bit of an accident. She had tripped down the stairs. And everyone had told her that it was because of a ball that was left there by her frisky terrier. But in her Victorian polished and smart mind, she knew. She knew that she had not tripped over a ball. And so, she realizes that perhaps someone had attempted to murder her. And the only people who were present in the house was Charles and Teresa, her two nieces, um, Mrs. Tanios, her other niece, Bella Tanios, who used to be, you know, Bella Arundel, and the maids, and Minnie Lawson, her companion, and Mr. Tanios, who was Mrs. Tanios' well, husband. And we have a bit of a problem. Those were the only people present at home. So if someone had tried, attempted, to murder Emily Arundel, it is one of her family members. And two months later, Monsieur Parparo receives the letter, and reads it through. And she goes there and finds that Emily Arundel has died due to natural causes and in his opinion this was very very strange and so Poirot goes ahead and investigates and he finds a nail that had been nailed into the wall right where Emily Arundel had tripped and a black thin thread must have been tied around that nail and the other side of the wall. Easily tripping, and if that would make Emily Arundel immediately lunge forward head first, and that would mean her almost instantaneous or possible death. So, yes, there this is attempted murder. Or is it? Is did Emily Arundel truly Die of natural causes. Is it true? Monsieur Poirot, Poirot is not so sure. And pretty much I can't, you know, spoil the mystery because the point of the book is supposed to be, well, a mystery. So that's all I can say. Um, several things, like... For me, for me, a couple things that I thought, for a couple things that I suspected was that Minnie Lawson the one who is the maid or the companion of Emily Arundel may be some sort of evil genius actor bad guy because in this book you see uh our dear Emily Arundel actually actually suspects her family of making going for her or trying to kill her through attempted murder right so she disinherits every single one of his family members and gives it all to Minnie Lawson. Perhaps it is a twisted plot for Minnie to grab a hold of all of that wealth and money by subtly influencing her, by setting the trap herself and tricking her into thinking that the family members were all suspicious of, a, of attempting to murder her and therefore her money may go to her. A very twisted and manipulative villain. Something like almost like Moriarty in, in Sherlock, you know? And that was one of my initial theories. But they may they may have been proven been proven right. It may have been proven wrong. You'll have to find out. Well any well anyway, all in all, it is an epic book. I would highly recommend anyone who enjoys a good old mystery to read this book. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. A good old Agatha Christie? Perhaps the build-up is unbearable, but then the conclusion is as exhilarating 
as a jumping clear cold water.